For generations, the United States of America has played a unique role as an anchor of global security and as an advocate for human freedom. Mindful of the risks and costs of military action, we are naturally reluctant to use force to solve the world's many challenges. But when our interests and values are at stake, we have a responsibility to act. That's what's happened in Libya over the course of these last six weeks. Last month, Gaddafi's grip of fear appeared to give way to the promise of freedom. In cities and towns across the country, Libyans took to the streets to claim their basic human rights. As one Libyan said, for the first time, we finally have hope that our nightmare of 40 years will soon be over. In this effort, the United States has not acted alone. Instead, we have been joined by a strong and growing coalition. This includes our closest allies, nations like the United Kingdom, France, Canada, Denmark, Norway, Italy, Spain, Greece, and Turkey, all of whom have fought by our sides for decades. And it includes Arab partners like Qatar and the United Arab Emirates, who have chosen to meet their responsibilities to defend the Libyan people. The United States will not be able to dictate the pace and scope of this change. Only the people of the region can do that. But we can make a difference. I believe that this movement of change cannot be turned back and that we must stand alongside those who believe in the same core principles that have guided us through many storms. Our opposition to violence directed at one's own people. Our support for a set of universal rights, including the freedom for people to express themselves and choose their leaders. Our support for governments that are ultimately responsive to the aspirations of the people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.